taxes. He did his own thing. Yes. Being a trillion, trillion dollar debt. But yet, he's going to give you doggone health care? And he's pushing this program? Because that health care card is nothing but the debit card. That's why you treat him like a dog if you got cash and you want to rent a car or rent a, rent a regular video and you don't have no credit. You treat him more, treat him more like a dog with, with cash in your, in your hand and you do with credit. You understand how that goes? The whole key is, is to get this national health care card because that's a debit card. You understand? Because he, he works for the man just like you work for the man. He's not the president. And he also said that also that Al Gore was the real president uh, running things behind the scenes because he getting direct orders from the big people. Uh, and the secret society, the big families that run the world. And they say they just put him up there as the person that looked good. You understand what I'm saying? The man that slept with women and all and the crackers and voted him in. Yes. Come on. See what I'm saying? They put him up there because he looked about like Kennedy. Yeah. You understand that whole key? Oh. That, that Camelot situation that went on in America. That you never, that the crackers and even the black people never got over because you killed that dog on president. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the whole reason. So he's in the health care card, the debit card. And get you a, get, this is what you do. Get you, go up there and buy you a short wave radio. Because they can ban some of the waves from FCC, but they cannot ban... The waves, what's the FCC? What is it? Say what? Short wave radio. They can ban, what is it? What do you mean? What's the FCC, what it is? The radio thing? Federal Communications. Right. FCC, they can ban some of those waves. But they can't ban the ones with the short wave. Get you a short wave. They got stuff called countdown and currency recall. What's currency recall? Currency recall is when they gonna take away the money. Well. And it's a countdown and currency recall. We talking about countdown and currency recall. We talking about... If not the first time part of 94, the last part of 95 was going into 1995. But I, so, if you copy this money on you, you go into jail. Right? But the money has already got a barcode in it to detect how much money you got on you, because you're going to try to hard this money to go on some other markets. And remember now, if you eat this way, so it's back to slavery. Either you're in the system of credit or you're out of the system. Go and take your behind down to the movie and see the demolition man. See the dog on movie. They put the movie out telling you all the stuff that's gonna happen to your behind in the movie. <laughs> see what I'm saying? Go see the dog on movie. They don't have no money. See what I'm saying? You see what I mean? So go see the movie. They got the barcode in the money. And if you look in the left hand corner, you can see the metal strip in it. It says USA 10, USA 10, USA 10, and USA 20. 20. $10 bills on up, higher bills on up, with $19.90 on it. And they got the metal strips oh, in the dollar bill, yeah. right here, in this thing. And if you go across there, if you go in the, in the bill, so now you copy this money on you, your behind going to jail. You understand? But currency recall, currency recall is about a year, or two years, no more than a year. Currency recall, and they get rid of this money. You remember they saying it, they got this big conflict thing going on. And the only way we can do it is get the bills. The dog on bills since 1990. Right in this stuff, the dog on strip. And if you go past this strip and go past anything, they can tell where it's on. They can tell how much money you got in your house, in your pocket, or anything. Because this is it. It's got on in a team. This is nothing but a barcode. It's the same thing that everyone across the right. supermarket line. You understand what's that? I know the whole deal. 
All those people that think we better, guess what? We just gonna be in there with a little soup left over. We gonna be in the same place with our brother in the ghetto. Yeah. Ain't nothing. All of us gonna be broke. I'm just gonna have on a few clothes that's left over. <laughs> you understand? But we gonna be the same Negro, and that's the beautiful part about it. Cause the white man spanks us and put us back in place. That's mm. right. You understand how that goes? Yeah. Now they're gonna get rid of this particular money. Once they get the money, you're going to free. And that's going to justify them to put you in the, camp, in the concentration camps. Now, they have already started one concentration camp in St. Petersburg, Florida. Out of that same, one of those same army bases they closed down. Started putting federal prisoners in there. That's the key. They already started the debit card in 1991 when they changed the welfare system over in, in um, Virginia. You understand? And now they got it in other places. You understand? Because they got to put you in because they already know that you're going to trip. Now, number two is the immunization. They're going to go through this stuff. The immunization. They automatically know that they want to shut down the great work in the juice of God. So they got to shoot you up with all the stuff. But if your kids already got it by being ignorant. The kids already got it. Don't worry. Just get off the dog on meat. Change the diet. Change the diet. Nothing can't kill you. You understand how that goes? Nothing can't kill you. Even when you go see Demolition Man, they had cut out all the meat. They say meat is dangerous. And the only dog on restaurant that made the cut in Demolition Man is Taco Bell because they could go without the meat because they got beans. So that's the big thing. Taco Bell, like Houston restaurant, now it's big time. All the rich people eat that. Go see the movie. Key movie, everything. And the people who don't have the money got to live underground. And there's an underground movement. Go see the movie. Go see that. Go see the running man. 1997, 1987. People in the system, people out of the system. Go see Total Recall, 1990. People in the system, people out of the system getting charged for air. Go look at the movies. Go see the movie The Handmaid's Tale where they got black people in putting them in the concentration camps and shipping them off on trucks on the credits. Just most people watching and stuff. They, they start talking before the credits and they miss the black people being shipped out. And they showed a barcode and all this. Go get the Handmaid's Tale came out in 1990. All of these came out in the same time, the Handmaid's Tale. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Go get those movies. Go get Planet of the Apes 1. Right. It's talking all the stuff. Then look at all the rest of the Planet of the Apes. You see? And we'll explain that, but we got to go on. So they got this particular stuff. Next time they ask you to treat your baby for sickle cell when you got a baby, tell them no. Sickle cell is not a trait. If you got a right diet, the sickle cell don't mess with you. Sickle cell is made for people in Africa to get rid of malaria. That's why it's there. That's why most people go to Africa and die from malaria. You understand how that goes? So the sickle cell thing, they, they, but you got to realize if you're getting rid of malaria, they found out one thing. The sickle cell thing cures AIDS, which they dropped in Africa, and which now you the number one recipient of AIDS. The, 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 the germ warfare cooked up in Fort Dietrich's Maryland. So it cures AIDS too if you got sickle cell. It wipes it out. So now they're telling you what? When you have a baby, they say you got your sickle cell trait? I know my brother just said he had a baby and the baby wasn't even out the body. Couple seconds. They ain't even say it's a beautiful baby. They say, you want to test the sickle cell? Right. <laughs> See how that goes? Because they know the sickle cell killed the AIDS. Okay? Now let's go right on. Number, number one. Now, number one. Let's go into the time, the time cycles of what's going on now. Number one, the Dogon tribe does what is called a Sigi ceremony. Now, a Sigi ceremony in, in chemistry is called the Hinti ceremony. And the Hinti ceremony, the Hinti ceremony in chemistry is the birthday of Osiris. In ancient Dogon, it's the birthday of Nomo, who is no more than Osiris, Jesus, and the whole nine yards. But it's actually, we'll get into that now. What is the Hinti? The Hinti is the beginning of the end of, of eternity. The beginning of the end of eternity. This Hinti, Hinti ceremony in Kemet went, what, one, every 120 years. The birthday of Osiris, they have the Hinti ceremony. In Dogon, it's every 60 years. They, they, they go for this ceremony. Now, the last time they had this particular ceremony was 1937. 60 years from 37 is what? 1997. That's when Jupiter and Saturn will align. Remember the word Saturn. When we go further down in this, is everybody all right? Yeah. I got a lot to cover, so y'all just be patient. 
Because this is real dear stuff. Okay. You're getting the juice right here. God has blessed that's me. The, that's what we get. You're getting the juice right here. You understand? You're getting the lesson. Now, the Siggy ceremony, every 1997. Now look, the time, April 1994, when Sophis, which is Sirius, and Horus, which is Sabdu. So Isis is Sirius and her son is Sabdu, which is Sirius A and Sirius B that the white man couldn't see until the Dogon tribe told him. The invisible star that goes around Sirius B, which is the Akasic records when I get into other stuff. Now look. Sabdus celebrate their 50-year hero scamos a holy reunion. Such close timing between the solar systems, the Sun, Earth, Pluto, Neptune, and Sirius star system occurs but once every 90,000 years, giving some stunning rarity and evolutionary opportunity for humanity during the last two decades of the 20th century. Now, this is the deal. The last time, they don't tell you this, because they messed up the calendars. There you already dated the Sphinx, and the Sphinx is 18,000 years old, because it's got a heavy rainfall. And some in places in Kemet, it don't rain at all. The last time it rained in that particular area of Kemet was 9,000 years. So they know that the Sphinx is at least 9,000 years, and then they carbon dated that and going back to 18,000 years, and they're still saying it's older than that. Now, if that is true, you see that as high technology, that means the pyramids are built in the same particular place. It was all there together. And Adam H. Gardner, who was a high builder expert, said that the pharaohs always put their name on other people's stuff. You see what I'm saying? That's the thing they did. If it's that old, they said, well, I'm going to name it. I'm going to put my name on it. <laughs> so Kuku put his name on it. You see? Now, you go to Kemet. Manetho. We didn't have the history of Kemet until Manetho said what? To Manetho told the Greeks, Philadelphia is the what? The second, I think, or third. The Ptolemy, Philadelphia is the second, or the third, I think what it is. What the hell? It's a cracker. <laughs> they told him, we want to know the history of Kemet. He said, okay, then. We got 500 pharaohs in the dynastic period, which is 3,000 years, and 800 um, pharaohs in the pre-dynastic, which is 5,000 years. Close to 10,000 years or 8,000 years, they said, well, who used to rule before then? He said, oh, that's when a whole bunch of gods used to rule. Were they talking about spook gods? No. They were talking about at a time, what's up, soldier? <laughs> they were talking about at a time when the people on the planet that used to live on the planet had all their spiritual centers open. And they were gods. The Bible said what? Ye are gods. What's that chapter? John 10, 31, 32. John 10, 31, 32. Psalm. Ye are gods. You understand? We're going to prove that when we get into the stuff. Now listen. Now look. Yes, it. Go ahead and preach now. You're going to be in the wall too, so you might as well get practice. Now, at that time, all black people were radiating at the level of gods. By the time Kimmy comes on the scene, we had already fallen from God. That's when you see the God suit that I told you. He ends up falling. The fallen sons of gods. It's in the book of Enoch. Now you got a book. This dog won't be here. It's taken out of the Bible. It's almost as big as the Bible. And you're going to tell me you got the answer in the Bible when there's a book this damn big taken out? And that's just one of the books? You got the Gospel of Barnabas? Barnabas? And what, what, 16 other ones? That ain't no book. That's a doggone maze of confusion. Pamphlet. You see, that's a pamphlet. That's Swiss cheese. You need the other holes. You need to take the, all the holy books and put them all together and they tell one story with the Quran being the last chapter, which we're going to get into. The white boys are not stupid enough to tell on the night that. Now, going right along, they said that men, we were gods. Now, at that particular time when the earth plummeted, when Kimmy comes on the scene, they had to start documenting the stuff because we had to go into the mystery system to get back up to the godhood <coughs> that we once was all radiating at one time. So that's why right before the dynastic period, you got... You got all these records, and then you don't have nothing because it was all in the black man and black woman's head at one time. You can find remnants of that when you go and see the griots in Africa now. Tell them to go back 100 years, they get insulted. They said they got to go back at least 500 years before they even get wound up. <laughs> but it was all in the heads of the black woman and black man at one time. And then, and 
And that's because our third eye and our acoustic breakfast and the medulla all in God, all this was working, and all the chakras, which is the seven seals in the Bible, was working. As we went on in this third dimension, we got trapped in this third dimension because the earth sunk from a certain place into the third dimension. All the spiritual centers shut down. And then we had to go and go into the mystery system to learn the doggone 40 years, learn how to open them back up, which you have all over the world with the yogis. The, the, you see what I'm saying? The yogis, the Sufi masters, the Tibetan monks, the Egyptian priests, which all came out of the Nile Valley. Check? You yeah, know yeah. So, when Kemet comes, they had to document all the records. That's when the black man had already fallen. And that's greater than anything the white man ever had and seen on this planet. But we had gone, but that's, the, that's in this 26,000 year cycle. We had other 26,000 year cycle, but Gerald Master says, the great years every 26,000 years. And he said the Egyptians went through five of them. They say, well, how could they go through, and that's just on that one part of the land. They say, how could they go through five of them? How could they capitalize? They said they had to have lived through them. And that's why they're in the secret doctrines. The, the part that DC did, Blavatsky did put in the book. Now, that particular time when we was back in Atlantis, which we had one land mass, that's why the black woman that came last week and said they own all that land, they own Mississippi, Alabama, Louisiana, old Oklahoma, and all that. She said, because we was on the land for thousands of years before the doggone white man got here and before the Indian got here. How did you get? Because it was one land mass one time when Ahmed Muhammad told you this is the black man earth and we was all of one people at one time on one land mass. But with the second of Atlantis, we had continental drift. Check. That's what they can hear you tell you. <laughs> black continental drift. You're still black people because if you go there, you still see the black people all over. If you go to Japan, you go to China, you go to all these places, you even go to Russia, they got black people. Only people don't know it is us. This is our land. But we was in Atlantis, and that was the particular land at that particular time. And before that, it was Lemuria. And every time we mess up, it would go down. And we start the civilization back up again. That's why it looked all vague before Kimmy, because we were starting back up again. After it went down with Atlantis, and that's what broke up. But at that particular time, the current that was on the earth was the same current. Now, this current that was on the earth was the current that we was in when we was gods. Well, listen. Get a book for you, call her. Go right along. Get a book called, uh, her name is Dion Fortune, the woman that comes out of this, of these hermetic art of the Golden Dawn. In Dion Fortune's book, she says, bear in mind, however, the sign, this is called the Cosmic Doctrine, about six dollars, uh, six or nine dollars. It says, bear in mind, the signs of the Zodiac. Okay, bear in mind, however, the sign of Gemini and the forces that <coughs> signify the sign of which influence Atlantis. The signs which influence Atlantis on Earth in the later present time, in this age, will influence the Earth again. Such configurations, however, similar to those days in the last days of Atlantis. The last time, now remember what I just said about, I read it again. Listen, listen. Remember what I said again? About April 1994, when Sirius and Isis and Horus have their heroes gambles, which is Sirius A and Sirius B. You get the stunning word opportunity during the last two decades of the 20th century, such timing before the, of, of, of the planets. The last time it occurred was what? 90,000 years. She's saying the last time this current was on was 90,000 years, and at that time, black people was gods. And if you God, the devil's through. You get in the picture? Mm -hmm. Let's go home. Now. You're getting the picture, right? Okay. Now, the whole point is, how are we going to be through? Well, number one, we're going to go into a little bit of stuff that's going on. Number one, what is tied in here, as above, so below. That's the laws of Tahuti. As above, so below. What is the people on TV now talking about on Friday night? What are they talking about? They're talking about what on Friday night at on Also Mission on Friday night on, on Fox. The X Files, which is UFOs. What was happening before last year? It was sightings, which is UFOs. Which is not an unidentified flying object, it's identified flying object. And the white man knows what time it is. Now what had happened was, what had happened was was this. In 
before when Alistair Crowley received the Book of Law. He failed to give his people the great work in the secret society of the Orient, Templar, all those. You understand? By him failing to give the people the actual science, he dies in 1947, and right in 1947 when you start having this heavy UFO activity. Because the interplanetary brother would say, now you done fail to become human with the great works. Because of that, we come in to clean up the mess. And since then, you've had this heavy UFO activity, which the government is hid since 1947. He had a task force called the Men in Black. And when you used to have... When you used to have, hold on, I'm on a roll now. When you used to have UFO sightings, the men in black would come out and you say, I got a UFO, and you point it to the police, they point it to the FBI, the FBI point it to the, they point it to the uh, CIA. They would come out and give you these scare tactics, we're going to kill your mama, your daddy, and everybody, anything, so you shut up. Well, an MIB came in 1950, the last year that Malcolm X was in jail, they came and visited Malcolm. It's in this book, Neil Wilgus is the documents, the Luminoids. Neil Wilgus is the Luminoids, the Luminoids. Secret, uh, uh, Secret Society's Political Paranoia is the name of it. And he says that in 1954, 1951, no, excuse me, 1950, Malcolm X receives a visit from the MIB, the men in black, while in prison. Well, why would they go see him? Was he tired of that? No. By that time, dog on Malcolm X was well on his way into the nation of Islam, and they knew that they had taken the blueprints of the mothership out of the dog on briefcase of Honorable Elijah Muhammad in 1944. Mm. They probably visited other people in the nation, but since he's the historical figure that you know about, they document him in history, because the small people don't get documented. You understand how that goes? So this is documented history, and they had to go and check with him like they was checking with other brothers in the nation, because they understood that they took the blueprints out of Honorable Elijah Muhammad's book bag when he went to prison for having draft protests. Go read the history of the nation mm -hmm. and all that. And we understand that they got a doggone mothership going on. He said they built the mothership in Japan off the island off of a coast of an island in Japan. That sounds crazy, right? But you got to understand, Gerald Massey in his book, Natural Genesis, says that the Japanese got an old doggone fable of an island that exists to this day, but they don't know where it is. Now, if it's that old to exist, you remember now the first people in Asia was black people. Well. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that particular island that they're talking about, the people who built it was black people that live on an island that the, that the Japan, Japanese don't know where it is. Mm -hmm. But they also got a fable that they got to buy up all the land over here because Japan get ready to sink below the ocean. Mm -hmm. That's why they buying up all this land. Mm -hmm. And they got nothing to do with trying to take over America. The America told them, you can bow up all the land you want, you ain't got no standing army. And how did we get the land in the first place? We took it. So since you don't have a standing army, you don't own jack shit. You're just a new Negro. Check. 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 Now, this particular UFO phenomenon, number one, we got ships that's three miles long. Mother ship. You got the smaller planes of what you see. And those smaller planes are probably as big as this room when you really see one. I know I got two that follow me been following me wherever I go. They're out there right now, right over the place since, right. since, since the summer. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm here to tell you, we got the juice. Mm -hmm. You understand? Now, the mothership, some of them three miles long. That means if they pull up over you, you can't see three miles. That's total blackness. Mm -hmm. You understand? That's total blackness. Now, the point about that is also, too, <laughs> there's a guy that was abducted by two people from, from, from some people from Sirius in 1954. Or the early 50s by the name of George Hunt Williamson. Got a book called Other Tongues, Other Flesh. You need to get that book. Let me read something. Because all the UFO literature that you get tell you it's going to be a beautiful transformation. They're our friends and all this stuff. And they're coming in. All, if they're your friends, then the white man wouldn't have to hide that shit for them on, um, on 47 years. What's the book uh, George Hunt Williamson's Other Tongues, Other Flesh. If it's something good, then the government don't have to hide it for 47 years. You understand? <laughs> They just eased up by around 1985, and that's when you get all this literature that's coming out about the UFOs. But a lot of it is fake stuff. The book you need to get was 
written in the 50s. It was written when there wasn't no all this fake New Age stuff out. And it's the real deal book of the tongues of the flesh. Let me read what it says on the first page. It'll let you know it's a real deal book. It says, Yes, the brothers and sisters in our skies overhead. Okay, wait a minute, hold on. I want to get the, the right part. Wait, let me get the right part. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Get the right part. But now I'll just tell you what it says. Uh, boom, boom, boom. The people on earth are afraid that if suddenly other people from other worlds are made known to them, they will have to have to face an awful retribution for the horrible crimes they have done to humanity. They say like children, they want to go and hide until these people go away. Because like children, they don't want to be taught when there's a greater teacher above teaching them. You understand what I'm saying? A greater teacher above teaching them. Hmm. Now, who is doing the awful retribution to humanity? Is it us? Hell, we are humanity, and we are crazy. They stole the land from another indigenous people and some of our black people over here, and stole us to put on it. And then they did all the stuff to humanity around the world with the ocean, with the air, with everything. Who are they talking about? White people. This is a white man writing the dog on book. He said, but in his book, he says there's something called the Knights of the Solar Cross. And the Knights of the Solar Cross is the Interplanetary Brotherhood. And the Interplanetary Brotherhood is the ones who rule this planet, which the chief planet being serious. Ambalaj Mama tells you one thing. He says there's other life forms in the universe. He says, but the black man being the most superior. I just explained that to you, right, because our sun, that we come from the, the planets around us, is the central sun of all the dog on sun. And this particular earth is seeded from the people from Ceres. You understand? It says that the Knights of the Solar Cross, which is the Interplanetary Brotherhood, have one thing in mind. They all, the Knights of the Solar Cross, have highly developed pioneer bodies or grand or third eye. They give them astonishing telepathic ability to examine everyone with this eye. Instead of a normal vision that allows reason and logic instead of the truth. The white man says it's not logical. But it ain't the truth though. This third eye. The white man has a calcified pineal gland. In order for the third eye to function, it has to secrete serotonin and melatonin. Which is melanin. Right? So his pineal gland doesn't work. So the people up there that's got this highly, highly pineal body is talking about who? Us. And other people that's in the universe of these little bug eyes are still more superior than the white man because the white man is a mute. That's why Alistair Crawley now says in his book, in a book, uh, it's just a little passage, it's in another book, it's in a passage in this book. See, Alistair Crawley, Crawley's occultism, occultism was fundamentally an attempt to control and direct evolution. It says that Crawley's work, his main mission was to put the mutant on a higher level of evolution. Who's the mutant? The white man. That's where you get teenage mutant ninja turtles from. He is a mutation from the real thing. You understand? He is a mutation from the real thing. That's why the medicine don't work for you because they take a mutated rat and make mutant medicine for the mutant people because they got mutant rats and mutant rats. You ain't never seen a white rat running in your house. You always see the little gray ones. <laughs> you understand? We know, we all know about that. You never, if you go outside, you see a rabbit, he's going to be brown or something, he's not going to be a mutated rabbit. That's because they mutate those to make for them. That's why that stuff shuts down melanin. You understand? That's why they use that particular medicine. Watch the rats. They don't never have no gray rats. Because a gray rat got the dog on melanin. Don't you know, even a rat, and don't you know, every primal substance on the planet, all the dogs, the cats, the rats, and the bats got melanin, and everybody got it but the white man? Ooh. Even the trees? That's why they wouldn't do That's why they got a mutated animal before they even put it. Now, if they can grab the rat, no, you can grab the human being, too. Because he's grafted. Mm -hmm. Now, let's go on. Now, let's go, let's go on. Now, look. And, and you take, get them to take you human artificial. I'll tell you how the Egyptians went through it. And the people from Atlantis went through the grafting process. And they used to create the mutants. And that's why Abu Lai Muhammad said that the Egyptians created the mutants in his new book, Theology of Time. That he made before he got on the planet. Before he left and got on the mothership. Now, okay. So, 
Crawley was interested in that when he died. Now, the whole point is this. I want to read you something. I want to read you something. Read you something about your brother Elijah. Now remember now, the Jews were waiting for Elijah to come back. But Elijah ain't came coming back for them, because that's the white Jew. Right. Now, that's the white Jew. Now let's look at this. The black Jew got, it's called the lost children of Israel. You heard of that in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Who are the lost children of Israel? Yeah. Black people. They got it from Egypt, where Egypt had the same mythology, a uh, uh, psychic mythology of stuff that was going to happen, of the lost children of Ra. Ra in the Hermes Plasmagistus of the Tehudian material means the blue black god. So the lost children of Ra is the lost black children. Later on translated the lost children of Israel, which is the us, because the, the first Jews were black. The other ones that's in their spot, they ain't lost. We're the ones that's lost and don't know the, 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 the knowledge of self. You understand? So they're not getting the other Elijah. That's why they took pull that cheap trick to put another name. What was that name he put in jail? Roger. Roger Poole. They put that uh, in his birthday recently. In the jet, they put Roger Poole because the Jews is all in cahoots with Johnson Protestant. Oh, yeah, yeah, and they yeah, told yeah, us yeah. to put Roger because they understand there's a key behind Elijah. Mm -hmm. You understand? Now listen. There's a key behind Elijah. Now this is the key. It says the Israelites, or that's the children of Rock, is actually... The children of Ra is actually the lost, the, well, the lost Israelites is actually the lost children of Ra. Okay, now, let me give you this, this particular part right here. Now, um, boom, boom, boom. Look at this now. Check this out. Brother C. Freeman L. that teaches um, meditation up at the uh, uh, Black Media Communication Night, teaches out at the Key of Life out in um, uh, Stone Mountain, said that. Honor Elijah Muhammad wore the bow tie because the bow tie symbolized the number eight, and the number eight is emphasis. Check. Sirius is symbolized as the eighth star in the planetary seven stars. The seven chakras of the body. The seven, the, the, the seven one is the, is the universal number of man, but eight is the one higher you get you into God when you go to 999 and 1000 and all this. Now it says Elijah. Okay, it says Elijah, the center of a large number of Hebrew traditions. This is identified him with one who comes with the number eight. Now this is coming out of the actual Egyptian text and the Hebrew text. With the number eight, likewise indicates whom the god Sahudi as the early set Nubis. Now Sahudi, or Hermes, is called the messenger of Ra. His number is eight. Allah's Muhammad was called the messenger of Allah. You see what I'm saying? Now, I don't give a dog on what you say. Nobody can teach a whole nation of people with a fourth grade education. I don't give a dog on what you're going to say. Right. But the reason why you all can't get with him is because they understand that there's going to be a black man that was lifted up by a white man that's going to be arrogant. And he's going to only deem the European education. But they say that the people that's going to lift up going to come from the dog on the man that's going to come, he's going to come amongst the despised and the rejected. Mm -hmm. We are all the despised and the rejected for the rest of the world, but now that ghetto person is the despised and the rejected through us. So you'll never take heed to what a man tell you out of the fourth grade. You understand how that goes? So that's the key behind this whole Elijah thing. Now, getting on, I'm going to explain some things with Master Farah Muhammad that's going to break all this stuff down called a great work. Now let's go on. Now, we got to... Okay, look. Let's go on. All right. The guy, George Hunt Williams, has said it's going to be three million spacecraft that's going to come over and tear up this place. We already got a girl in Tennessee that saw the spacecraft, and she said she saw them come through D.C., and they was hitting the doggone, they was hitting the buildings, and the buildings was dropping like sand. Because all you got to do is listen to the people who born with a baby, and they tell you everything. But we don't believe in that no more. That's how I get half my doggone information. You see what I'm saying? Said she's already saw it coming, and you got it. There was 3,000 in 1954. You can add, that'll be about 30,000 spacecraft at this particular moment that's going to come and hit this particular United States. Now also, too, in 1991, they had a space probe that went up. And when it went up, it went up and it touched, took one picture of Mars and this space, this, this um, mothership came and took it. It sent another one up a couple of months ago and then it's missing again. Also, what they don't tell you is the reason why they had to scrap all that nuclear stuff and got this cold war thing going. 
down here. The reason why they had to scrap all that nuclear stuff is because the UFOs then came by and then jammed all the guts up in that stuff and it don't work. Don't work. So all them years of three mile island and this stuff, and what went on in um, Russia, Chernobyl. Chernobyl and stuff, down the tooth. And that particular uh, space probe was a couple of billion dollars. You see what I'm saying? And they had already, and May Jameson went up one time and a couple of months she got the hell on. She got the hell out of it. Yep. She knew what time it was. And that's why when she was at Spelman, mm -hmm. yeah, she, yeah. she got out of there. She know what time it is. Mm -hmm. But that's why they hired all these black people in the 70s, because they understood we could uh, conceive space because they knew we had gone there before. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So now she got out of there. But when she was at Spelman, somebody um, stopped and questioned her up and said, are there spacecraft? And she said, oh, yes, they are. But then she thought, she said, I'm not in the in, in NASA. Mm -hmm. It's a common fact around NASA, but now I'm in Spelman. And I'm brief not to say it. Then she changed. She said, oh, but they got to be. Think of all the planets out there. You know that whole thing about the light on other planets. But she said the truth because the brother called her off guard when she was here. You see? But she got out of there. She quit. You see? She, all that music school. And she got the glory. Why not the Virginia? She got out of there. And I think she gone to Africa. I heard. She gone to Africa because of the work over there. You see? Now. The whole point is they done messed up all this stuff now. Smithsonian Magazine, because we're going to get down to some good stuff. Smithsonian Magazine. This is real key. Uh, 1993. Don't worry, there's a big, thick book that they're taking this out of that just came out, and I don't know the name of it, but I'll get that information. They talk about the dark matter. They say the dark matter is a strange stuff. It's all around you, but you can't see it. It's wishing through your eyes, but you can't hear it. It is arguably the most important material in the universe, but still up until uh, lately, they haven't had any idea what it is. But whatever it is, it will be decide the fate of the universe. Now, we get ready to get into some high science, because I keep talking about this great work. And we're going to get into why they're going to lock your ass up. <laughs> <laughs> now, 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 this particular black stuff that they're talking about, and, and look, at it, we can pass it around. We can pass it around, but two things I want to do. See, the whole key behind this is Alistair Crowley, the reason they, see, they took, they put two bibliographies out about him and made him into this devil worship. <laughs> they did this for one reason, because they know it'll keep the average Christian out and it'll keep black people out. They do this to hide the sciences. See, he's the evil B666 of the 20th century. But when he say he got his stuff from, I'm not a fool. I'm going to pass it around. And look where he said he's receiving the book from, from this Stella. And look what's on this Stella. It's a black man from Kenny. You can pass it around. You see? Hmm? You can pass it around and all. And, it, and it's a black man from Kenny. And all right. that. Yeah, now. And stuff. It's a black man from Kenny. And all. But if you got that book, I guarantee you, you wouldn't know, understand nothing. And you got to get the, the other book, Confessions of Alistair Cross. That's the key. Look, right. A book called The Legacy of the Beast by Colin Wilson. Those are the books with the bibliography. That's all the coded stuff and you can't understand what it is. Took me a whole year. But I got it like that. I'm cool like that. Now, the whole point is, is this. They got a picture in this book of a white man sitting in a chair and the black stuff is going on through him. You see that? The black stuff is going on through him and it's all around you. That's the quickening period. This is why people are going crazy. You see, if you think it positive, it's lifting you up to a high level of spirituality. But it's going to quicken anyway. If you're thinking negative and thinking nothing, it quickens the nothing thoughts. That's why a brother can kill a brother out here without even thinking over a hot dog. You understand? Because the earth is going through a quickening period. Now, this particular stuff that is that's, that's dropping down on us that they used to think was nothing, it's the stuff that holds the star clusters together in the universe. Now y'all please stick around because I'm getting I'm getting ready to go into some I'm going I'm getting ready to go into some real good science and you gotta get the gist of this. You understand what I'm saying? I'm getting ready to go into some real good science here. You understand? Now y'all please stick around. They say you should never leave out what a person giving you knowledge. Michael Jackson can come and shake his behind and you'll call for an encore. And each time he come back out, you'll stay, I don't care the dog, I'm at 6 o'clock in the morning. You see that? And this is knowledge and life saving stuff, so y'all stick around for this, please. That's right. That's okay, now, you can pass that around and show them this particular stuff that's going around. They said it's the stuff that holds the star clusters together. Remember that, okay? All right. Okay, let's go 
on. I'm getting good at this, ain't it? Come on. <laughs> okay, now. Let's go on. This is the deal. All right. I talked about Alice Crowley received something from a minister called Awas. I went on the radio. And this is the key. You got to listen to this. I went on the radio last Friday night. Said some stuff, you know, dropped a little bit. The next morning I got up. My ex-girlfriend called me and said, I'm going up to the cleaners up on Ponce Leon that trip something, that cleaners. She said, you want to ride? I said, okay, cool. I said, I'll, I'll go by the Sphinx. The Sphinx is a metaphysical bookstore on, on um, East Street. Um, it's, it's on um, uh, Piedmont and Ansley. It's in the Ansley Square Mall. I said, I'll go by there. And I knew nothing was in there because I was in there. I went to that particular bookstore that Thursday right before then. I knew nothing was in there, but some said, I'm just going to go in with it. I went in there. This black girl was up in there. She went over to the Santa and Europe, um, the Yoruba and Santa Maria stuff, and I said, okay, well, there's a lot of black Yoruba practitioners. Then she went to the magic stuff. I said, oh, now, I said, hmm, ain't too many black women I know looking into no magic. So I said, oh, that's some good stuff, be sister. That's all right. She said, yeah, I'm a practitioner of all of this. And she said, I, and, I, and, I, and I was born with a veil. I said, bingo, because every time I get me a psychic, I try to get close to it. Because even though they don't know the knowledge, I'll tell them what I want to know, and the spirit can tell them, and they can give me answers. So we started talking. And she said, look. She said, um, she said, it's highly unlikely that this happens to a person. She said, but number one, I did a reading this morning, because I do a reading each morning, and they said I was going to meet a guy with a great deal of knowledge. And I said, and we, I was dropping, and she said, okay, cool, that's you. Then my ex-girlfriend came in and she said, yeah, and you know, we was all talking and we got into some stuff. And she said, it's highly unlikely that this happened. She said, but I just saw your guardian angel. And I said, yes. Yeah. She said, yes. He's a tall black man, dark skin. He got on some beige looking stuff. I said, was it, was it Arab or Syrian or, or Persian? She said, yes. I said, I think I know who it is. She said, well, we got to get together. We got to get together. We got to get together. I got home that night. She had called twice. I called her back. I said, now, wait a minute. Hold on. I said, I want to see something. I said, listen. And tell me what you saw in the store. I said, he seemed to be a tall, dark man in his 30s, well-knit, attractive, and strong, with the face of a savage king and eyes. With, uh, uh, it was veiled. If you look at him, it was the straw what they saw. She said, I didn't see his eyes, but you about right. She said, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's who I saw. I said, what's his name? Awas. And she said, he says yes. I said, oh, God. <laughs> she said, he says yes. She said, oh, I forgot to tell you, I'm so spiritual, I can channel this stuff. She said, he says yes. I said, is he the head of the state serious star system? She says, yes. He is. Now, the only part of what they may have been telling you is this. The white people have been looking for this Awas and been looking for the Awas current and to get part of it since Alistair Crawley died. And they've been looking for this and they call it the Awas current. And the number is 418. And it also his number is 93, which I met him in 93. <laughs> He's right here as we speak. Oh, now listen. The point about it is, they've been looking for this cat. And he hanging out right in Vine City in the ghetto. Because the whole point was to lift them up to a certain thing so they can save. Because I'm like myself, you will be saved. But now on the planet, he's hanging out with black people now because that's the whole point about this thing. The gods are back in place. And all you got to do is just ask for protection. Say, hey, I want the interplanetary brother who you saved me. And you granted it. Because they understand one thing that you don't understand. The difference between you and them is this. They are up there in another dimension, and you in this dimension, but you the same people. You the same customs. Hmm. You the same customs. You understand? Now let's go on. Now, let me explain what this AWAS current is. Brother Atchet had a spiritual son, which was a person who was in, no, no, excuse me, Alistair Crawley had a spiritual son by the name of Frater Atchett, or Frater Atchett. His real name was Charles Stanford Jones. Fred, what had happened was they had supposed to utter a word called Abra, called Dabra, 
And if you utter the word the right way, you would receive the great works. She's talking about this great work. Adam's the crow that died in getting utter the word, but his other boy part uttered part of the word. Uh, he uttered, uttered one, one phase of the word, which was Allah, which and, and la means man, which, which means God and which means serious. And Allah also means the great works. Going into this stuff, there's a lot of science behind this, but the particular guy, he said once this is uttered, he said there will be a disappearance of the pineal bone. And pro, uh, a pineal bone, bone, it will be a disappearance. White people, as you get the African artists of biological psychiatry with Dr. Richard King, tells you that they got a big bone in the middle of their pineal gland. You understand? He also to go go in and say, we got part of the evolution when we learned how to speak. Because he said we was a, he, he says right here we got part of that because we were called an ape. And they said the, the Tahuti was the god of speech. And certain people gave us the laws of Tahuti, and we started learning how to speak. Well, Count Boney told you that in his book, Ruins of Empire. That you, and I'll just give you the thing. He said, yeah, I don't see why, I'll give you the Negro version. I don't see why you're putting your foot down on some people that taught all the sciences of the universe and taught us how to speak. You understand? So he said, we got part of that. Only us, what we got to do is when we get the great work, our pineal bone will disappear. You got it? The pineal bone will disappear. Now, the whole point about that is this. Um, this particular Awas, Awas is not only a guardian angel. Awas is also a current that is on the earth called the Awas current. The Awas current got the number of 418. 418 is also the number of the great works. It is on the earth as we talk. Everybody with me? Everybody with me? Okay now, let me get my trigger notes going on. Now look, the whole point about this is this. This particular Awas is a current and he's also an angel. Now, Alistair Crawley talks about it in a book called Magic Without Tears and the book is it's the same as all the rest of the book. That's why you got to get the other confession. It's all these codes and you don't even know what you read. It's real hard. He said the angel reappeared. He had another vision from Awas. He said, and gather, he said this is what happened. He said blackness gathers about so thick and clinging, so penetrating to observe, so oppressive to all things of darkness, all things of darkness that I have ever conceived would look like the brightest light. That's how blackness stuff is. Now, Awas current is on the earth. I just showed you the Smithsonian Magazine of the black substance. It's on the earth. Check. Okay. He said, then this Awas came back and this substance so black that he couldn't even hear. He couldn't even see. He said, the blackest thing he had ever saw. Would, would look like a white light compared to this blackness. He said, his voice comes in a whisper. O thou art the master of the 50 gates of understanding. Is not my mother a black woman? He coming from Syria. He's coming from another planetary system. White boy writing on our history, writing this stuff. They didn't start letting this stuff be reprinted until 1985 after one of the guys, Israel Regardi, died, who was a person that wrote a lot of this stuff on Alistair Crowley. Okay? He said, Is my, my mother a black woman? Oh, thou art the master of the pentagram. Pentagram is a star. Five-pointed star. In this case, in this thing, it's a seven-pointed star. Is not the egg of the spirit black? Keep on with that. Remember that. Is not the egg of the spirit black? The Awas current bears the number eight also. Am I talking about that eight? Am I talking about that eight? Mm-hmm. It bears the number eight. The reason why I'm hooked up because it also bears the number of Sagittarius also too. And all that type of stuff. But we all hooked up. Now the whole key to this is this. 
The whole Mason world went to sleep after Alistair Crowley died. Some white cat in England said, well, I'm, a, I'm not even white. He said, the gods reincarnated into who they want to, and they reincarnated into me to help some white people. And he says, there's such things in the brain called computer programs. Provided you got the great works. You got computer programs where we can program our mind as a doggone remote control and we can bring in the spacecrafts. Remember that? We can bring in the spacecraft. And he says me and our group are going head up with the government. His words is the mutants. We're going head up with the mutants. And we're going to take that energy from the mutants and we got to re take that satanic energy and channel it into something positive. Because all of this negative and this positive, you just got to balance it out. Because that's a part of the universe. It's the negative and the positive. He said we got to re-channel that particular energy. You understand? He said we're going head up with the doggone mutants, which is the white people. He said, but the mutants, he said the mutants are so strong. He said that anything that you're taking out here doing, voting, getting money, <laughs> getting paid, bearing arms, forget about it. He said they, that's, they're that strong. He said, but the only thing they fear is the people oh, from Syria. Come on. Which is our army. He said, and the people from Syria, when they roll in, it's going to be like taking candy from a baby. Mm -hmm. You understand? He said, it's going to be like taking candy from a doggone baby. Mm -hmm. You understand? So now, he says that the people from Syria is called the white city of the central sun. And the god is Ife, which you get the Europe of Ife. He said, Ife physics and Awas physics and Yogathian physics in Zothrian physics is all there together. His particular words they use. He said, but the, he said, but the Ife and the serious physics and the stuff, it goes so far back. He said, black people have been practicing this stuff. He called it the afro atlantean And it goes so far back until it goes off the planet. He said, but it possessed one day, Sunday, which I believe why we, when we started on Sunday, that's why we got all the spirituality going in the church, even though we ain't learning nothing. <laughs> he said, and, it, and the Ife divination, or the Ife current, or the Awas current, five minutes. Okay, Evan, you going to do a, a, a little break right quick? We're going to do a little break, and then we're going to end this thing. That's just right, right time. We're going to do a little break. But the Awas current exists in one people, the family of the sun. The black people also says that there's a group of people in West Africa that's been practicing the science. See, Alan Brown said, well, look, they said they went in, in, in um, Nigeria, they see all this Europa spells that work all this magic, but they don't understand how they do because the actual, the actual seven liberal arts that used to be in the ancient Egyptian, because you know the Europa came out of ancient Kim. The actual seven liberal arts was gone from it. But by that being gone from it, they said, what happened? Ivan Van Sertima said that the actual priest went underground. Because the white man ruled him with this much, if he would have got the real 360 degrees of that knowledge, a man, you'd never get him off the planet. It'd be like scrambled eggs. You understand? But they said there's a group of people under the ground in the inner plane. You see, if you get John Stockwell's book, My Secret, My 25 Years in the CIA, he said the CIA was really concerned about trying to find underground uh, secret societies in Africa. But he didn't know that they was literally talking about underground because there's inner planes under the earth. There's a subterranean world under the earth that they don't tell you about. Through the poles. Is that why they poles? Right. To the black man to guide him? Right. That's right, the poles, there's a whole earth, and if you go up under so far, you'll find a whole central sun up under there, and they got the blue men from Sirius that live up under the earth. You can go in in Shambhala, which is in um, Tibet, you can go in in Mount Kilimanjaro, you can go in in some place in West Africa, you can go in in Kentucky and Tennessee. You can go in in also North and South Poles. And there's a whole central sun, but it's, the whole point about it is, what you don't realize, the reason why the white man can't go in and the reason why they can live up under there is because it's on another dimension. 
Do you understand science and get the holy cabalion? We get several, several dimensions. This is the third dimension, which is the lowest the physical. And you go in the other dimension. You go one dimension over in the fourth dimension, and it'll disappear. Well, they live in another dimension. They live on ninth dimension. So the white, and when you live on ninth dimension, you only deal with thought. They said in the, in the first it was the word and the, and the mind of God. So if you go down in there with the wrong mind, it will transfer you off the planet into space or either someplace else on the planet so the white boy can never go down there. Mm. You understand? Mm. But there's a group of West Africans that live in the inner planes and they say they have already started influencing their people, mainly the West Africans. But they're not talking about the ones on the continent because they're deaf, dumb, and blind. They're waiting on us. The real lost children of rock is us because we're the ones that got all this knowledge around us. They don't have nothing over there. Who are the West Africans? Where did we come from? The ones that's over here. Even though we had black people over here when we got here. The ones that they had the Glory Island and the Middle Passage come from where? West Africa. Even though they went on in there and half the they got even got Egyptians and people from East Africa. Okay. But mainly they talking about, and because all the people from East Africa migrated to West Africa, they just talking about black people. But since we are the people, the ancient Egyptians, and we all of those ancient command and all of those in the West Africa, Yoruba, Nigeria, they're actually talking about the people well, who are West and yeah, already yeah. started influencing us. That's why the brother, and they're doing it through this particular AWAS parent. This yeah. on the ground. You saw the Smithsonian book. That's why the brothers are killing each other in California because they, they can't, they don't, they're not the same punk Negroes that we were dying. In the 60s. In the world. Now, I want to do one. But all you people have got problems believing all this stuff. Since y'all love the white man, so you dead in mind. And when I talk to white people and I talk to them weekly, they don't even know. They, they bear witness to all of this. You understand? They bear witness to all of this. So, uh, to let you know, and remember they say in the Bible that the devil, knew all the teachings of Jesus and knew more about Jesus and his teaching than the dog on father. Stay close to it. You understand? Some tools tell you that in the um all the war. Keep your enemies close to you. Okay? They bear with all of this. You see them they used to attack on Martin Luther King and Malcolm, but you ain't never heard them attack on Elijah Muhammad. And they thought enough about that man to put him in the encyclopedia. They got him right in there. You see, if he was one of these fly by night hopes, they would have never had him in there. People would come and go. But they got him in there, but they know what time it is. They said that when he had the motorcade in Washington, D.C., the government put a motorcade beside him and ushered him into a place where he can go and speak to white people. And he said he doomed them all to hell. <laughs> and he said he doomed them all to hell. So the white man said if you would have paid him 20 years, a goat, we would have killed you on the spot. He said, but this is after World War II now, and when he spoke, and they said you was already prophesied to come. One amongst, one amongst your people. You see what I'm saying? And even J. Hook who Hoover said that. We must organize and mobilize the rise of a black Messiah. Okay? They know that all that's coming up in us. Let's go on with it. And this is the good part. This is part two of the phase. On how we gonna get out of this. So number one, the subterranean world, so these brothers on the planet are already influencing us. All we gotta do is get the juice. And one way you receive the juice is get off the meat. That's the price you gotta pay and the sacrifice you gotta do to understand to get the juice, to get the juice working. Number one, try not to go to all doctors. Stay away from the doctors. The people who stay in the doctors are the ones that's always sick. You understand what I'm saying? Get the diet right and try to eat less so your body can heal itself overnight. You won't have to go. Read, eat, and live when they tell you all that. You see? Get off the meat. I don't want to go into the meat, get my take the human artificial where we talk about the meat and the chicken and everything. Where they grow a, a raw chicken in three weeks. From a chick to a big old rooster or a hen in three weeks. I know what I'm talking about. Because they give them chicken steroids. And the government gives the chicken farmers back. My brother know it, my, my brother works for an insurance company. And uh, they have to go through all this because they got to know how people get sick. So, you see what I'm saying? So, get off the meat, get the diet right. 
and start meditating. So in front of people don't know how to meditate, all you got to do is close your eyes and be quiet. The guardian angels are already coming, and they're working on you. Seriously, just close your eyes and we can try to concentrate. This is real. But whether you know it or not, the guardian angels is working on you, quickening you, and quickening up that melody so you can be ready for the fourth dimension. Okay? All right. So now, we got the actual clearance and everything right in place. Okay. Now, the city ceremony is done every 30 years. Every 60 years, 1937, 1967, is the birthday of Osiris and the birthday of Nomo. Nomo being this particular god, the god that comes in the sign of a fish. This god, Nomo, which is one of the 16 crucified saviors. This is the 17th Nomo. He, came, it, it, he sacrificed to save the world from the evil brother, the pale fox. You know who the pale fox is? Pale and fox meaning a slick stuff and the deceiver of the whole world. So he fights to save the, and he sacrificed to save from his up and he's in the sign of a fish. Who else is in the sign of a fish? Jesus, Jesus Christ. That's Pisces, right? Rise up in that particular era in that age. Let me tell you about OJC. The secret books of Egyptian Egyptian Gnostics. In this particular book, this guy Gene the Rest. Gene the Rest which was a, he was a, a, a papyrologist that studied Egyptian papyrus and also Greek papyrus and Roman Latin papyrus that they used to write on. Do you know there's a whole Bible that's written in the Greek papyrus that we don't even get into? Also, they dug up these particular books, these Gnostic books, in Coptic Egypt, and Coptic means later day Egyptian. They dug these up in 19... In the 1940s, and it's, this stuff is predates Jesus Christ a couple thousand years. What about, what else did they say? Because he went to those schools, so we're talking about he would have to have, he had to go into the Essenes and study the Gnostic occult. Mm -hmm. And Jeshua Ben Pandera, the only one we can trace back, which Jeshua means Jesus and Ben means son of, and Pandera was the pamper skins that, that he wore, the priesthood bore. And if you see that Alistair Crawley book, you remember I showed you that Stella? Uh, wherever the book is. Uh, that Stella with a guy, the, the, the particular black guy he said he was getting it from had on a paper machine. Check. So they got, he studied this and in this particular thing on page 74, he says that a magic papyrus of Greek and Coptic under the impact of the heavens suddenly open. Now you know they took the whole heaven scene out of the Bible, that's in your book of Enoch, this big, to go into all the heaven stuff and all the UFOs in the book of Enoch. They took that out of the book. Yeah, you can get the book of Enoch, you can get one translated by the health research and also you can get um, Elizabeth Clare Prophet book on the book of Enoch. And that's, they're going to, just like they, 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 they uh, made a run on the uh, branch, branch Davidians, she next. Because her son Mark Prophet